Sack of Fat. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how I make my sarin fruit cake. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get baking. So I have three packs of sun-dried sorrel and each one is 100 grams, a bottle of white rum and a bottle of sweet red wine. So what I'm doing is just going to put these sorrels, I have a deep pot that I use for stuff like this, so I'm just going to put them all in here. And what I'm doing is I want to extract the flavor and the color from this. Um, from the sorrel and when it's boiling I'll turn it off and let it sit covered till the next day and the next day all the flavor should be out of there and the color and I'm just gonna take that over to the stove cover it and bring it to a boil you're not adding any water any other liquid what we're making is sorrel alcohol and that's what's going to soak your fruits and you're going to use that once your cake is done to pour over your cake. As this starts boiling, I'm going to look at it, you can see the steam and you see how the leaves, they've changed. They're not dry anymore, they're nice and moist and you see all the red color. So what you want to do now, don't let it dry out, you just want to turn it off. Look at that red alcohol. But I'm gonna put that in. But you know, we can't get fresh sorrel here until it's Christmas time. So in the meantime, we have to do with what we have. And this is how I come up with this way to actually get the sorrel. So we're gonna cover that up and let it stay overnight. And tomorrow I'll strain it and then I'll put my fruits to soak and I'm gonna keep some now for when the cake is done. So two days later, and this is my sorrel wine, sorrel liquor, what you want to call it, but it's all the alcohol. Okay, so we got that. So this is actually what it looks like now. You see it's nice and red. I'm going to pour it in here. And what I do normally is I'm going to keep some of that for when it's baked, when I bake my cake. This is what I'm going to use to pour over it. And this sorrel rum is going to pour in my fruits. It's about a pound of fruits. Next step, I'm going to take this and I want to get all the alcohol out of it. So I'm just going to squeeze it out. See? You're going to keep the fruits in this sorrel alcohol for about a month. I'm going to leave it to soak, so the fruits are going to soak it up. These are all the ingredients that we are going to use to make our sorrel cake. I'm going to grind up my fruits. They have been soaking in our sorrel alcohol uh, for I would say about six weeks. Okay, and that's what it looks like. You can see the color, it's all red. And guys, I'm wearing my, um, I call it antique apron. Somebody gave me this. Oh my goodness. I will say about 40 years ago. Four zero. Okay, I probably wore it twice when I got it. And for some reason, I kept it. And I never wear aprons. I'm, I have to protect my clothes. You see this beautiful top? I don't want to ruin it with sorry love on it. In goes my fruits. And see that rich color of that wine and rum? And now we're just going to grind that up. it should be done now look at that I'm gonna put it back in the measuring cup 
that smells so good you can smell the alcohol and the sorrel usually the recipe i have if you double it you're going to get two nine inch uh, cakes next step i'm going to cream the butter with the sugar so what i'm doing is just pouring it in with that butter and you want to make sure your butter is nice and soft let it sit out maybe the night before you're going to make your cake You want to get it nice and fluffy. Make sure you beat it really well. And the secret is to get that butter soft in the beginning, right? See how fluffy that is? That's what you're looking for. Next step, I'm going to crack these eggs. I'm going to combine the eggs with this. So what I'm doing is just dropping the eggs in. Try one at a time. Vanilla, almond extract, and some rose water. The rose water is gonna complement that sorrel, give it that nice floral bouquet. That's my flour. Now I always use self-rising cake flour. So this is like nutmeg, vanilla, ginger, cinnamon, and allspice. So we're just gonna mix that all together. I know a lot of people make sorrel cake. Uh, let me know what you think and how you uh, make your sorrel cake. I'm just going to add flour now. I'm just folding it in. Just let me know how you make yours because I know it's um, difficult. I had to work for almost two years to figure out this recipe. But we have dry sorrel, so I had to find a way to incorporate the dry sorrel into this alcohol and get it to flavor the cake. And you just want to do your flour a little bit at a time. Next step, I'm going to put the fruits in. That color is so rich. Look at that. So this is the red food color that I'm going to use in there. It's just going to intensify the color. It's not going to add any flavor. And just make sure you mix it. You fold it in really well. So now I'm going to get my pan ready and turn on the oven. And then I have this little parchment paper I'm going to put in the bottom of the pan. Final step is to pour it in. So it's baking at 350. I will just keep checking it after about uh, an hour. It's hard to give a time on this kind of cake. It depends. Uh, at some at point, I might have to cover the edges with foil so it don't burn on the edges. I'll see how that's happening. I'll see you guys later once the cake is done. <laughs> this cake is all done. That's the sorry cake. Now about an hour into the baking time, I did put foil over it because it starts browning at the edges. This is the sorrel alcohol. So I'm going to take one cup of that and what I'm going to do is drench it. Just pour that all over. And that's going to soak right into the cake and that's where you're going to get all that flavor and the rum in there and the wine is going to keep that cake from going bad so you can keep it for a long time. So we're just going to leave it to cool. It's going to stay here. And then usually I say leave it till the next day before you actually cut into it. And here it is. Finally, it's baked. It's finished. It's our delicious sorrel cake. 
if you try this recipe leave a comment down in the comment section let me know what you think of it i would love to hear from you look forward to seeing you again next time until then god bless have a great day